We're here at ITU Telecom World 2016 in Bangkok, Thailand, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Yun Min Park, who is CEO of Amadas uh, from uh, Korea. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Now, I'd like to start off by talking to you a little bit about uh, your here, basically as a, a, uh, being hosted by a guest of K KT, uh, Korea Telecom. I wanted to ask you a little bit about uh, your SME and, uh, and how it's innovative, what, so what, you're, what you've produced. Okay, thank you for coming. And uh, we are Amadas, Amadas um, smart door lock companies. And uh, not, not just door locks, very special IoT door locks. So you can control by smartphone app, but we solve the problems. First, installation. So very easy installation for DIY customers. And second, we solve the battery issues. Uh, it, it is a very good, uh, good functions. So when the battery runs out, it uh, can be emergency recharging by smartphone flashlight in 30 seconds. Wow. Yeah, and basically low power systems. And finally, security. It's very, very important to do a lot of companies. So we solve the three uh, problems. So very special do locks. But one more. <laughs> uh, our do locks uh, merging into jewelry. So when I was a jewelry designer, I decided to IT and special making door lock. Great. And uh, you've been selling these in, in Korea, have you? Yes. Yes. And how have they been going? How, how, what has the, been the public reaction to these? Um, actually, um, digital door locks very uh, long history in Korea. Korea uh, has has bad for digital door locks for two decades. So Koreans used to everywhere to door lock, used to door locks, but IoT door lock is so special. So we work together telecom companies and IoT platform companies and securities companies. Are you at all concerned? There's been a lot of uh, reports in the media about uh, various different items uh, being controlled by hackers and that kind of thing. Uh, would there be an issue with this, do you think? Yes, we are, we are preparing that protection. So we have uh, 14 uh, patents for security. Great, because obviously uh, it looks like not only are they uh, um, attractive uh, on the outside, but of course uh, <laughs> they, uh, they would ob obviously need to, to keep uh, so people secure on the inside too. And uh, how have you found the experience here at ITU Telecom World? Uh, it's very special because um, Amada's IoT dual locks uh, integrated and IoT solutions. So I want to introduce our solution for telecom companies or IoT platform companies. So yeah, it's a very special time to me. And you've had a lot of people come and have a look at your products, have you? Yes. Great. And uh, do you think that this is something that uh, you'll be able to then sell internationally and develop further? Uh, we will launching next year, January or February. So our partner companies in Japan and America and Korea are so Middle East. So I will go to Dubai next week for our yeah, IT show. Well, that sounds wonderful. Well, let's say there's a lot of emphasis being placed here on SMEs and entrepreneurs. <laughs> well, we wish you the very best of luck with, uh, with this and uh, we look forward to catching up with you again, perhaps uh, in Busan in uh, Korea when we uh, attend there for ITU Telecom World 2017. Yeah, I hope so. Okay, well, kamsamida. Thank you very much, kamsamida. Thank you very much indeed.